Hi everyone, welcome back to Max TV. Uh, you probably noticed that I'm not at my usual workbench. That's because I'm moving location to a bigger and better studio. And this is uh, the last video at this old location, which I'll do on the review of this SMD uh, component tester. And uh, they, I won't be leaving you without any videos at all. There'll be videos that I've done in 2016 when I wanted to launch the YouTube channel. And they were, um, they, they're probably not, uh, they're funny, but they're not good enough uh, for the YouTube. So I've uh, never released them. So there's a chance for you to see them now. So after this video, the next week, you'll be watching those videos for a couple of weeks. So anyway, let's get back to this SMD tester. Uh, the reason I really like this specific tester is uh, that it can test diodes uh, or Xeno diodes or LEDs up to 30 volts, it claims. So let's have a look at it. So we've got a little tester in a little plastic carry case. A manual, obviously, for it that tells you what it does. Uh, it can test for resistors, you know, all the standard components. Batteries, uh, Zeno diodes, LEDs, resistors, uh, and DC voltage capacitors, all of that stuff. It comes with a spare tits, uh, tits, I can't stop saying tits, tips. It comes with a spare tips. Uh, batteries and two of the little probes that I won't be using, they just look a bit funny. Uh, so you're supposed to plug them into here and um, that would be your probes but you know i don't know if it's it looks a bit funny that's why we've got the multimeters for so those probes will probably go for the spare parts or something so it takes two double a batteries which i've got here Excuse the lighting as well, it's on the angle because I've already packed and it's probably a bit overexposed. Uh, I've already packed all the equipment. So here's the meter, uh, that's on DC. Let's go for um, continuity. That's resistors, so it can measure the resistance. As you can see, that's the resistance of my fingers. Uh, capacitance, that's again capacitance of my fingers in nanofarads. Uh, diode, so that would be checking for diodes. Re uh, resistance plus the buzzer, so... Uh, the next, I think it goes back to auto, yeah. The next one is uh, the diodes and xenos, which we'll get back to. So, uh, so let's go to battery checking. And that just checks the DC, doesn't measure AC. It does have uh, relevance to zero things out. So let's say if you're in... Um, I don't know, resistance or capacitance, and it's not showing like this one. It shows it's already, you know, eight nanofarads, so you can press relevance and it'll zero it out. Now let's go to the diodes, the best why I really like that uh, meter. So as you can see, it's outputting 24.8 volts, even though we have two batteries. And for example, I've got this uh, uh, disc from a light bulb. And it can test the LEDs here at 20 volts. So you can easily test those LEDs. If you, I don't know if you can see if it's, yeah, you can see it's lighting up. But what's interesting, uh, I've tried it earlier and you can light up two LEDs or three or four. I can't go any further, unfortunately, because the other way I'll break those things. But, you know, that's uh, very interesting because that means if you have a, um, uh, LED backlight for your TV, they're usually high voltage LEDs and you can't really test them with a multimeter. Well, you can probably test it for diode presence, but you can't really see if they're glowing or not. With this one, you can just hook it up uh, even per strip. If you have the whole strip, they're usually 24 volt strips. You can just connect that to a strip and see if it lights up. That's why I really like that meter because usually your normal multimeter won't be able to do all this sort of stuff. So overall, it's a great meter with a replaceable tips, not tits, uh, and yeah, it's got its own carry case, so you can put it away. It's got auto off function. Uh, it does say it can measure AC, but I've never gotten to, um, if we got a battery, it doesn't say, yeah, 
you can't switch from DC, so I'm not sure it says auto, maybe it is auto, but it says uh, max input 36 volts DC and AC, auto power off. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's very handy to have. Definitely, if you want to check your components and on board, sometimes it's good to check continuity of the resistors and switch mode power supply. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, I've bought it for about I think it was twenty dollars on eBay. I do recommend it. It's very handy to have on your workbench. So that's it for the short video. Uh, in the last video from this location, at the moment I'm at the video editing desk, so I've got one camera and one light, which is way too bright for this uh, little area. Uh, and uh, I will uh, see you in a few weeks. Again, I will be posting the videos, the old videos, uh, during those few weeks, but I will see you in a few weeks at the new location. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. Bye.